In this video, I'll show you the best niches to publish in in May 2022. What is going on guys, Sean here. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about self-publishing, building passive income streams, and personal finance. So if you're interested in those kind of topics, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three best niches to publish in in May. And uh, obviously with these kind of videos, it's gonna be more of a seasonal keyword, uh, specifically related to the holidays coming up. I personally like to publish in evergreen topics. So my book sells uh, more than just one month of the year. However, if you chase these holidays and if you chase these seasonal keywords um, every single month, then technically your income is uh, pretty steady because you're going to have some books that blows up in May only, but you're going to also have some books that blows up in June, July, August, and you can keep chasing seasonality like that. And a lot of people actually kill it uh, just doing this. So there is definitely a market for it. It's really up to what you want to do. And in this video, I'll show you the three best niches to go into. So niche number one is Cinco de Mayo. This is a holiday coming up on May 5th, I believe. And uh, for this one, I just put Cinco de Mayo book for kids. So you still have a lot of ways to niche down from here. So you can do coloring books. Um, you can do some kind of journal if you want to, word searches, different activity books, puzzles, mazes, those kind of things. Because the reason why I put uh, just Cinco de Mayo book for kids is because this keyword alone only has 3000 results. Right? So it's still a very non-competitive keyword that you can go into and still rank for. So some of the ideas I see on page one, uh, this one, Cinco de Mayo, bilingual book for kids in English and Spanish. So that might be very, very interesting to create a book that has both English and Spanish. Seems like there is a market for it. And uh, this book, obviously, you know, the BSR isn't great, but you have to keep in mind that with these seasonal uh, topics, the BSR is only going to get good once the holiday approaches. So as I'm filming this video, it's still March something, right? The holiday is still like two months ahead. So as we approach Cinco de Mayo, the BSR is going to get better and better. Now we have a children's book here and uh, this is on Cinco de Mayo. It's already at 153,000 in books. So that shows that there is a demand, there is profitability. Even this early uh, in March, it's still selling this much. So I'm confident that once Cinco de Mayo approaches, you know, it gets very close to it and it'll start selling much, much more. Now niche number two is Mother's Day word search. So the reason why I niche down specifically to word search is because just a Mother's Day book has, I think it was like 10,000 or 50,000 search results. So it's extremely competitive. But the moment you niche down to word searches specifically, there's only 1,000 results. So there's still a lot of rooms for you to come in. Um, so, and in terms of the demand, it's already incredible. So even though it's still not close to Mother's Day, it's selling extremely well. So this book has a 2022 BSR in the bookstore, which means it's doing about 62 to 92 sales per day, making around $191 in royalties per day, okay? So this one is pretty much dominating the market right now, obviously, because it has the most reviews and it's running ads. So uh, you probably got to get some kind of reviews to make money in this niche. And obviously, you know, the BSR, it's not close to Mother's Day, so it's definitely higher than what it would be once the holiday approaches. OK, but as you can see, the more reviews you get, the lower BSR it gets. So you just got to focus on getting reviews initially when you publish a book like this, which is a normal practice. You shouldn't just plop up a book on Amazon. Don't get reviews and just move on to the next one. Getting reviews is very, very essential and you should never skip that anyways. So that is niche number two. Niche number three is Memorial Day books for kids. So this is uh, May 30th, I believe is when the holiday is coming up. It currently has 5,000 results, so not bad at all. And uh, the books are already selling pretty decently. So 386,000, 453,000, and this is 146, 149,000. And uh, what I noticed uh, for this is children's books are the ones that are doing pretty good. So these are all children's books. Right, there's not a lot of uh, activity books that I see. There's actually one coloring book right here, but it's not doing the best, right? So in terms of books that are doing really well, uh, they're all children's books. 
So what I mean by children's books is that it's not really children's activity books like mazes or coloring books or word search, but it's more so children's books, uh, story books with illustrations. So if you make books like that, I highly recommend you look into this niche. So that is the three niches for May 2022. I'll be making a video for June and July as well, so keep an eye out for that. And if you want to learn how I built a seven-figure publishing business, I do have a complete publishing course. The link is below this video as well as all the tools and resources that I recommend also in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to let me know that you like these kind of videos so that I can go and make more of these kind of things. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.